embolization of the joints um, can be used to treat uh, quite a number of conditions. So um, we've been using embolization for the treatment of hypervascular tumors, such as those from renal cell carcinoma for some time, particularly within the preoperative setting. Um, we've also been using um, embolization for those patients with bleeding into joints, particularly of the knee joint, so hemarthrosis, and particularly after knee surgery. And there's a, a good body of evidence for that. More latterly, um, embolization within the field of MSK has been looking at treatment of specific disease conditions, particularly that of osteoarthritis, which I spent a lot of time researching with regards to embolization in the context of the treatment of patients with knee osteoarthritis. So there's a, a wide breadth of conditions that we can treat using embolotherapies within uh, joints. From uh, Akunu's great work as really the, the father of uh, embolization for, for uh, joint conditions, there's been a raft of emerging evidence within the field of embolization for osteoarthritis, uh, particularly within uh, knee osteoarthritis. And at the current time, we've got uh, several cohort studies, several prospective cohort studies, which are all showing the same signal that embolization of knee OA is safe with potential efficacy. Clearly, whenever there is an intervention designed to treat pain, we need to consider the placebo effect. And there are emerging trials now which are looking at sham procedures against uh, genicular artery embolization, which is the treatment for NeoA, to try and address that. So I think that we're in, uh, we're in a good place with regards to the evidence. And if we look at prostate artery embolization, which I think the IR community did fabulously well, gaining a, a, a body of, of credible evidence. I think we're really sort of at the beginning of, of that journey with genicular artery embolization and embolization within uh, muscular skeletal uh, um, conditions. And I think as more and more evidence emerges, what we're finding, as I say, is that there is consistency with regards to it being safe with the same signal that there is potential efficacy at early to midterm follow-up. Again, as more data emerges, I think we're going to uh, improve uh, our selection of these patients. At the current time, with the current evidence base, um, the ideal patient seems to be those patients with mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis that uh, have tried a raft of conservative treatments. So a lot of the patients that come and see me as part of the Genesis trial will have already had a steroid injection. They may have had some physiotherapy. They may have ha even had an arthroscopy. And with failure of those uh, conservative treatments, um, they're really only left with joint replacement surgery. And the orthopedic surgeons don't want to operate on young patients who've got mild to moderate disease. So they're really in a, a, a sort of unique treatment uh, paradigm, if you will, because there aren't many options for that patient group. So from my research and from the data that's out there, I think genicular artery embolization, treatment for patients with neo AU you, using embolotherapy, um, are those patients that have got mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis that are resistant to conservative treatments but aren't yet severe enough to warrant joint replacement surgery. And I think that's really where um, there's a potential great advantage for this technique for that pretty large patient population. I think it's a really exciting time for MSK embolotherapy, uh, not just within the OA, which is, is my area uh, of interest, but um, uh, the work from, from Akunu and, and other groups are, are, are really exploring other areas of, of MSK. So um, looking at treatment of patients with shoulder problems, so shoulder, uh, frozen shoulder, looking at arthritis within the lower limbs. And I've even seen some, some uh, emerging data looking at the role of embolotherapy within uh, chronic lumbar back pain. So uh, there clearly is a, a raft of, of research that's ongoing within this field. And as I say, I think it's a really exciting time for interventional radiology to, to try and uh, improve the quality of life of these patients with chronic pain conditions of which there are, are many. Um, I think the main message is really we need to concentrate on data. So designing prospective trials, 
getting uh, lots of data, real world data as well with registries, I think are important within, within uh, this area. And I hope that um, we can mirror the great work that we did within prostate artery embolization, where we can uh, uh, gain a, a body of evidence that supports the use of uh, not just neosteoarthritis, but some of the other emerging embolotherapies within the MSK space. So I think the future is bright for uh, MSK embolotherapy.